let's talk about a gadget everyone needs on their motorcycle. If you find yourself without one, you might find yourself on the side of the road talking on the phone like this idiot. Don't be that guy. Many years ago when I started adventuring into the wild in the middle of nowhere on a motorcycle, I realized I need to be able to extract myself from difficult situations. So I started carrying a minimal toolkit. The minimal toolkit. A simple flat in the wrong place might be the difference in life and death, but certainly could ruin your day if you don't have the right tools. A patch and plug kit with a small compact air compressor has been in that kit for many years now because it is simply a no-brainer. I have been carrying a cheap variation of this slime DC air compressor for years, but they have become hard to find and expensive for what they are. So I wanna talk about this new compressor and compare it to the one that I have been carrying for years. Both of these compressors are about the same price now, but they are very different in functionality. They both blow up tires and other inflatable objects, but the slime compressor requires a 12 volt lighter port. The slime compressor does not have a set it and forget it programmable setting. Slime does not have a phone charger. They both have a flashlight and that's cool, but come on. So let's take a closer look at this sync wire, battery powered, rechargeable, automatic tire inflation device. The first thing you notice when you pick the device up is it's heavier because it's got a big battery inside. Also included in the packaging is everything you will need to blow up pretty much anything. Tires, footballs, uh, all the devices that you need come in this package with a convenient carrying case. Simply screw the hose into the top of the device and program the pressure that you're wanting to put into your tires. I think this is extraordinary because all these small pumps take a while to blow up and you don't want to just sit there and hold the thing and hope you know hopefully it uh, doesn't put too much air pop your tire you can actually walk away and this is pretty much the same operation every time you're gonna have to put this hose screw it into the top and everything is really well made I was really impressed with that I was expecting some cheap electronics much like the slime the slime is all analog and uh, the slime pump does not come with a battery it's not programmable but the good thing is it's a little bit lighter um, and I think you could probably take that case off of the slime and make it even smaller. But yeah, it's, uh, it's basically turn the thing on, uh, adjust the pressure that you want to put in your tire and then just hit the pump and it goes until it hits that pressure and then it automatically turns off. I think it's a pretty cool little device. Um, it's definitely worth the extra weight in my opinion just because uh, You know, you don't have to have a DC jack on your motorcycle. I mean I typically always do I always have because I like to power other things But not having to have that port uh, Frees you up a lot and here I am pumping up my almost completely flat truck tire And of course it takes a second. So I sped the footage up about 40 times so we can get through this video today and as you might be able to see the number on the top is the actual pressure as it's going in and the number on the bottom is the set pressure so you can uh, you can blow up your tires and uh, not worry uh, that you're a dummy and yeah the hardest thing I did was try to figure out how to start the pump but it's basically just um, instead of holding the button you just push the button and as you can see, this is all the stuff that comes in the kit. Some actual uh, caps for your valve stems comes in the kit and all the other stuff. If you want to blow up some uh, air mattresses, pool things, uh, basketballs, footballs, things like that. And uh, the, uh, the 
actual hose got hot. It was the only thing that was on, uh, as I was pumping up, the only thing that got hot was this hose. And as you can see the flashing red light and the white light, in case you lose one of the valve stem caps, in case you drop anything on the ground, charge your phone, um, do everything that you need to do. And this thing uh, pumped up three tires pretty quickly uh, before I recharged the first time and it recharged re very quickly. So uh, I think this is probably gonna be a good fit for a lot of you guys, especially if you're carrying a $40, $50 pump on your bike now, that's probably very poor quality, or you're looking to add one to your kit. Um, I think this would solve a lot of problems. Uh, the, the only downside that I can see is it's it's uh, it's probably a pound, maybe a little bit more. It's kind of kind of chunky, kind of heavy, but easy to fit in your bike. So uh, if you want to check this out, I'll left a link down below.